Welcome back to the new account challenge fellers and today I could go in a different couple different directions um we're trying to figure out a way to level up Miles Morales and primarily trying to figure out a way to get these tier 4 science catalysts so yeah but before we get started uh, I can completely forgot last episode before we ranked up miles I was actually intending to open up these crystals here um, probably not gonna get a five star but hey you never know we may end up with somebody that's better than miles that we can uh, try to focus on ranking up instead so let's go ahead and just pop these open <laughs> wow okay so we did get another five star and he's a science and he is better than Miles so I'm very surprised by this but let's go ahead and get him ranked up okay so we got Mr. Fantastic leveled up to uh, max level of rank one we need to go and get some more science catalyst now tier three and figure out a way to get some tier one alpha catalysts. So let's get right to it. Okay, so a little bit of a change of the game plan. I was gonna go through some of the more of the monthly content, but I just don't really feel like there's enough there to even attempt to get uh, Miles or uh, Mr. Fantastic leveled up. It just, the, I mean, we, we can get, like, maybe, like, a couple more Tier 4 Class Catalyst Crystals, but are they going to be Suns? Probably not. If we have to resort to back, back to that, then, you know, I'll let you guys know, and we'll run through it. But for the time being, I ran one quest in Act 5 here just to see how it was. It was pretty easy. So I'm just going to run through this and see how far we can get. I don't really expect to get to Chapter 2 or the end of it at least. But, you know, we'll get as far as we can. I'll record any interesting fights that we do happen to run into. Um, I, but yeah, this uh, this month isn't really all that great for a new account what I'm realizing. Typically in the past, it feels like that the monthly content is a bit easier to kind of cheese through to get a six star relatively quickly and you can do a lot of content with just one six star because i did it with my other previous two accounts now again those two accounts that i opened up was during christmas and it was extremely easy to get six stars i got i don't know probably like four or five on both accounts in that month so it was pretty ridiculous comparatively to right now and the struggle that we're currently going through with two five stars that's not really all that great of damage dealers miles all right with his dupe but without it he's eh, he's okay but anyway let's uh let's get into act five here so we took a bit of a detour we completed all of threat level one for each of the escape from titan quests and my thought process with this is to get Nick Fury duped and leveled up so let's go ahead and do that okay so we're ready to take him up to rank four and really I kind of hate to do it I hate to waste the tier four basics on a four star but I think it's kind of necessary to try to move through some more of the content currently just gonna go ahead and throw this ISO into him and before we throw the generic awakening gem into him, we actually also have a awakening gem crystal that we're going to use. And hopefully we can try to get a skill out of it. Okay, we got him uh, max level now, so let's go ahead and pop open this. And we got a cosmic so no big deal we'll just throw the generic into him he's worth it let's go ahead and do that 
All right, cool. So we don't need to throw any six stones into him, but that's definitely going to help us uh, get through a little bit more of Act 5 and potentially try to clear some of these on threat level 2 and 3. And I think that's what I'm going to try first before hopping back into Act 5. We also have a few more four-star crystals we can go ahead and open, so let's go ahead and pop them open just to see what we get. Magneto, that'll... That may actually help quite a bit. Just gonna pop open these ultimate crystals. All three stars. Move over here to these four star crystals. Just gonna pop these open. I probably should have opened these before using the generic on Nick, but it is what it is. Okay, and a dupe on Sauron. I didn't even realize. Oh. Uh, we got him here and duped him. Just now realized. And other than that, we got Corvus and Blade. Both uh, great characters in their own right. Uh, not sure if we're going to be ranking them up or not, but we'll see. So just to let you guys know, this is the reason that I don't record a lot of the fights in Act 5. They take a very long time. You can see uh, Wolverine has nearly 100% health, but it took 212 hits. So, it's a little bit of a struggle, but uh, we're getting through it. All aboard the struggle bus. Here we are on the last fight of 5.1. So, let's go ahead and hop on into it with our newly ranked up Nick Fury. He's got class disadvantage here, but I, th I think he's going to do okay. His damage is uh, a lot better than a lot of the characters I'm currently using, so... Ooh, come on now. Let's see if we can just get him down. Go for an intercept. Again, I really don't understand why that there's not a better training process in game. Oh, that's not good. Okay, well. He wasn't really wanting to cooperate very well there, huh? But that's okay. Let's try to do it with... Al having to use a revive. We will use one if we have to. No big deal. We still have 724 units. But let's see if we can do it with Mr. Fantastic. Let's see if we can get this boy down. But like I was saying, I really think they should uh, have something in the game that trains players, newer players, on how to intercept a little better. There's some uh, terrific videos online uh, showing you kind of how to do it, but I feel like there should be something more accessible in the game. Because uh, at the, especially towards the end of the game, a lot of the in-game content, that is, I mean, it's, it's really crucial to know how to intercept but there's no real good way to show a player how to do it. You know, I guess you just kind of adapt to it. And uh, like anything else, I guess, uh, more practice with it. You become better and better over time. Ooh, I shouldn't have tried to punish it. I thought I could get in. Okay, no big deal. We'll use a revive. I think we still have one left which is a 60 percenter that I really don't want to use, but we'll go ahead and use it. And we may try to farm some revives next episode. I might go back through some Act 3 content, maybe. And hit up the Apothecary. I'll probably go ahead and do that off camera right after we get done with this. But before anything else, we got to get Archangel in the bin. And that's going to be all she wrote here. Down, down he goes. And let's go see what rewards we get. Don't really think it was anything too crazy. Recover some units here. Yeah, nothing too crazy. But, you know, that's okay. I think that was the last quest of 5.1, am I mistaken? 
No, yeah, that was the last one of 5.1. So next episode will be on 5.2, and I got the request to uh, try to break down 5.2 a little slower. So that's what we're going to try to do. Um, maybe in the meantime, I may try to do more of this monthly side event. I actually did get uh, yeah, this one on threat level 4. It was not easy, I'll say that, and uh, that's where all my revives went, so <laughs> um, uh, I'm willing to do it. I don't think we could do week three on threat level four, though. That uh, Mantis boss is an absolute pain, so I, I don't think we're going to go that route, but we may try to collect some six-star shards from episode two and episode four. They're, neither one of those are too bad. There's at least one path on both that we can do. But again, that may require us to farm up some uh, revives, and yeah, we may we may go and do that. Just try to collect some more six star shards. But anyways, that's going to do it for today's episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you for all the support on the channel and on this series. And I'll catch you next time.